Good morning everyone. Uh, having a great time here in Ko Chang with the gang. Um, we had some great adventures yesterday which you're going to be seeing that I'm posting right now. Um, great group of guys. Chocolate Man in Thailand. Um, no Time to Be Sad, Chuck and Paige, Foreigner Joe, Thai Girl Gift. Uh, I just can't thank them enough for uh, uh, the support. And uh, Mitch the Moderator, which is now becoming Mitch the Blogger, believe it or not. He made himself a 30 second video this morning. So pretty soon he's going to be editing and uh, doing transitions and doing all that stuff. Uh, he's getting sucked in. He's getting sucked in. But anyway, today's video... I don't know if James Chocolate Man was trying to kill me or maybe it was May's idea, but oh my god, we did see some beautiful things, but to get there, uh, 63 years old, uh, 104 kilos each, which is about 225 pounds, which is a, the heaviest I've ever been, maybe even 230, I don't know, but uh, that's the heaviest I've ever been. I'm, I'm kind of out of shape, I don't exercise a lot. But uh, we had some good times um, in this video, uh, great adventures. All I can say is it damn near wrecked me. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. But anyway, watch it, enjoy. Remember, hit that button, subscribe, hit like, share, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, hit the bell, the ring my bell, whatever all that stuff does. You probably know more than me if you're a YouTube watcher. But uh, enjoy the video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Someone's having fun. Come here! Well, get up here. You, my time! He wants me to push her. Far away! Far, far, far! Here we got May. Digging for shells. Found herself a clam digging friend. Okay. You gonna stay? Can you make some money? You gonna make some money finding shells on the beach? You know how much? I don't know how much. You know Let me see. Much? What do you got? Shell. Some more. Yeah. Uh, 400 baht. 400 baht for one kilo. Yeah. Okay, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes you. Does it take take you six hours to find one kilo? Four days. Let me get one of them. Oh, she's three kilos one day. Oh, she can get three kilos one day. Yeah. And how much is it a kilo again? Four hundred baht. Four hundred baht. Eight hundred. A thousand. Two hundred baht a day. But it's kind of back breaking work the way it looks. May's gonna make some money. <laughs> you never know what you run across when you're in Thailand. Perfect example. <laughs> May's loving it. My little clam digging wife right there. Get those clams. I just thought I better document this. We're gonna have a trip up the mountain, up the hill to see some waterfalls. I'm positive it's gonna rain when we get up there. They say it's a half an hour trip. But anyway, if nobody finds us, you'll probably find my body up on this hill halfway up the, up the walk. Most of us, we're gonna be laying on the side of the road. If I can't make it, I'm gonna send Sassy May up. She's gonna take photos for us. Uh -huh. So that way we can document somebody up there at least. Mitch and I will probably die halfway up. We're gonna look for a place that has beer. Well, that, this more water. number here means oh, how don't, many? no search and rescue. Cause yeah. Oh yeah, 200 baht, they don't send people for the bodies, do yeah, they? Yeah, for the, for the locals' sake. Yeah. It, it, costs, it costs at least a thousand, thousand baht <laughs> to retrieve your body. So anyway, hopefully it doesn't rain. But uh, I'm not too optimistic so we'll see how many people make it up uh, right now it's pretty easy walk up there but uh, after a while it turns into a, a dirt road dirt trail 
sassy may she's got her hiking shoes on she's got a bottle water. of water and she's got a good attitude a better attitude than mine anyway <laughs> we'll see how far we get guys okay the Mu Kan Chang National Park waterfall <laughs> let the fun begin let the fun begin honey of course I'm probably showing the easiest part here when it starts getting treacherous try to keep in view of the guys in front of us but so far so good I think we'll be okay we got these guys behind us hell they're they're making jokes I think she said the fat guys aren't gonna make it if I if my tie is good enough Got a flat tire. yeah yeah they don't know it but I, I understand a little more than uh, they think I do oh we got some rocks tell you what if we run across something interesting I'll turn the camera back on but right now we just got ourselves a ant hill we've got some running water down there so that's a good sign there's got to be water coming out of the waterfall if there's coming water coming down the stream so yeah if I come across something interesting, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, we found ourselves a little rough spot here. Charles, hey. hey. I hear banjos. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a banjo I hear, James? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, I remember that movie. I do remember that movie. Hello. Fish. Oh yeah, they're so small we can't see. Wow. Thank you. Hey. hey, I wanted to make a wave. Go get that rock. I'm always making waves. Hey, Mitch. I, I took it from there last year and put it right here. I thought I heard. No. I thought I heard a banjo. I did. <laughs> I could swear Burt Reynolds is up here signing autographs. Yeah, it could be. Anyway, this is a beautiful spot. Everyone stopped to take some pictures. Oh, here we got some survivors coming down. They made it okay. Holy cow, if they could make it up there, I guess I could. I just got pinched in the back. It must have been a beetle or something. I don't know what it was. Oh, that's what it was. Hey, I got to make these videos somewhat interesting. Otherwise, people aren't going to watch. Oh, we're at a little rest spot here. <laughs> Look at these guys puffing and puffing. Four hundred meters is nothing. Well, five hundred from the entrance. Yeah. Big yeah, deal. yeah, yeah. Half a kilometer. This guy right here. Hey, come to the waterfall. It'll be no, fun. No, no. Hey. This is all on Charles. He's like, hey man, can you take me up to the waterfall. Ch ch chocolate man, chocolate man goes, no man, you can do it. He, so he picked out the fattest people, and he goes, hey, let's take him up to the waterfall. Uh oh, I hear something you, talking yeah, behind me. Coming. All right, let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. The okay, on, on, to the, on to the next push. Oh, my Buddha. The walk wasn't all that long. It's just that the trail was so uh, treacherous and full of rocks and stuff to step over. But finally, finally, we made it. We did lose one couple. May's all happy. I don't know. Can I zoom in on this? Pretty impressive. Oh. God, do you hear something? Something. Yeah, they're getting in the water down there. Oh man, I should have brought my shorts. I should have wore underwear. Or something that. If I take my shorts off. <laughs> I'm afraid the fish okay, will bite. My camera away. 
Wow. So that's the waterfall we walked to. It wasn't terribly bad. It's just hot and humid today. I'm sweating like a pig. May, she's gonna go running around the rocks. Oh, she made it over to there. I guess if she can do that, I can too. But, uh, whew, <laughs> feels like a sauna. Beautiful, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can get across there without getting wet. I've got my my tinnies on, so they'll get soaked if I go through the water. Okay, I'm gonna see how close I can get climbing up that rock. Everybody else are kind of back there wading through the water. But I think I can climb up this rock here and get a better view of the uh, waterfall. You can certainly hear it though, it sounds great. Uh, I was climbing up that rock there to get closer. There is a red rope here. I just figured, oh, you're not supposed to go there, but I guess you're not supposed to go up past that way either. So that's it, okay. all in good. Yeah, yeah. They, they've got rules and regulations for a reason. That rope to get out of water because it's yeah. here. <sighs> like a sauna. It is. Better be safe than sorry, I guess. But this beautiful. Well worth the trek. I think we lost James. I know we lost Cassandra. But uh, I'm gonna head down to where the where the guys are. The fish were biting her feet. The fish were biting her feet. She was going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she survived. She doesn't like spiders or insects, and evidently she doesn't like fish biting at her feet either. Good job, Pa. <laughs> Here's an example of the rocky trails. No, we ain't, we ain't gonna be passing anytime soon. <laughs> I mean, we're talking slippery wet rocks, slippery leaves. Anyway, yeah, talk about fun on the trail. I damn near went down there, up over rocks the whole nine yards. Smooths out sometimes, but kind of treacherous if you don't watch what you're doing. So you got an insight of uh, what the what the uh, walk up and down there's like. What? We don't see it. I saw that. Oh yeah, I remember that. Mm -mm, you remember that? There you go. I should have just taken pictures of this thing Before, and, I, and I wouldn't have had to walk up there. <laughs> Next time I'm just going to take pictures of the sign going into the entrance. <laughs> Don't have to walk all the way up there. But hey, we survived. Uh, the rest of the group that are coming up uh, behind us. May survived. She had a good time swimming with the fishies. Did did they did they bite your toes? Yeah, really tickle. Did it tickle? Tickle. Oh, tickle. Uh, some more feet. But we we I don't know what the hell I just stepped in. It was a wet leaf. <laughs> mm. But oh my Buddha! Uh, <laughs> I I am just soaked. It, it's so humid and warm. But I was wrong about the rain. So. Oh well, never listen to me. <laughs> never listen to me when things are going down. But uh oh Mr. Mitch, he's right behind. Good job, buddy. Hey, wow. You made some good time. Wow, who's wow. cause I'm a fat lard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Same thing like me. <laughs> Not even close. I, I'm I'm surprised I made it back. <laughs> Oh. I drank those four Red Bulls this morning. Well, those two beer I had for lunch, I sweated those out. Those were gone. <laughs> They're gone, so I'm going to need to replenish them with probably four more. Oh, well. They got...
they've got bacon up here for sale. Bacon, I bacon in the bag. I might, I might have to get a couple. I think so. I mean, I really. Bacon's good any time of the day. You got, you gotta or love, night. you gotta love a place that sells bacon in a bag. Bacon. Free <laughs> jungle hike. It's gotta be good. Here we've got barbecue cool. chicken going on inside <laughs> there. Oh, look at that little bird cooking on in there. Just in a uh, ceramic tile. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> look what they're selling out at the bottom. Cold, cold leo. And as I talked before, bacon in a bag. You can't go wrong with that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy that. Maybe save the bacon for a snack later. But the beer is gonna go down good right now.